In this video, I'm gonna show you a very easy way to get complex drone moves so you can get really cinematic footage every time you're out flying. And so what we're using for all of these drone moves is spotlight mode. So let's get the drone in the sky and let me explain how spotlight mode works. And then I'm gonna go through a series of different drone moves that you could perform using your spotlight mode. You can see how easy it is to get these really cool creative moves while using this tracking mode. All right, so now that I have the drone up in the sky, let's turn on spotlight mode. So you're gonna draw a box around your subject or the point on earth that you wanna track, and then you're just gonna automatically be in spotlight mode. Now, you're not gonna use the active track or the point of interest. You're just gonna use spotlight mode. And so this mode basically keeps your subject or your point of interest centered the entire time, no matter what movement you do. So if you pull left or right on the joysticks, that subject that you are tracking it's gonna stay in the frame and you don't have to rotate the drone to keep that subject where it is. And so you could do a bunch of different moves yourself using your joysticks on your controller and you don't have to worry about making sure that subject is in the right part of frame at all times. Now, when you start the spotlight mode, you're gonna have your subject just right in the center. However, you could shift that subject or that point of interest somewhere in the frame. So if I pull left or right on the left joystick, I could change that marker to be in the right third or in the left third. And that way you could get an interesting shot while tracking, keeping that person or that thing or whatever it is that you're tracking in a specific part of your frame. But then also you could do a movement and you, they'll stay in that section of the frame. So you don't always have to track from dead center. Now you could also use your gimbal, pull it up and pull it down, and you can move this tracking point anywhere around your frame. At any point, you click the X in the upper left-hand corner and it stops the track. Now you could grab your subject again, frame them up where you want in the frame, and then you could start doing your different moves. So from here, let's go through a bunch of different spotlight tracking modes that you can use that's gonna help you when you're out flying so that you can get some really interesting frames and you could do it super easy. Now, before we get into all the different moves with the spotlight mode, I just wanna let you know that I have a free set of drone cards that I've created, and I've added all of these moves that we're gonna talk about in this deck of drone cards. So you could choose a set of these cards as a quick reference to be able to get a variety of shots and to be able to change up what you're doing so that you don't get the same shot over and over. And a cool way to use these drone move cards is come up with a series of like five and then save them onto your phone in a folder so that when you're out flying and you have the drone up in the air, you could just quickly reference these and say, oh, I wanna try this, I wanna try this, I wanna try this with that specific scene that you're flying. So I'll include a link down below in the description to where you can download these drone cards for free right now and all of these spotlight moves are added in there as well. This move is called the spotlight orbit. So once you're locked into spotlight mode, pull left or right on the right joystick and the drone is gonna start spinning around your subject. Now you could control how fast this goes by changing the different modes in the middle of your controller from sport to normal to cine mode. And you could also adjust your speed by pulling less on the joystick. So I'm gonna switch over to cine mode. I'm gonna pull left on that right joystick and I'm gonna do it just slightly so it's gonna creep. Now the drone will continue to orbit around your subject or your point on the earth and keep that subject centered so you're creating a nice orbit shot. Now to change this up, pull the drone backwards, like fly further away and do the same move. Pull right or left on that right joystick, creating an orbit. But when you're further away from your subject, you're gonna see more of your surrounding, more of the landscape. And you really get this dynamic shot where you could really see everything around that subject that you're tracking. Now you could also use your point of interest mode. However, doing it in the spotlight allows you to control the speed. So you could start slow and then you could speed it up and then you could slow it down. So depending on what you're tracking and what you want to see in the background, you could change the speed based on how much you're pushing left or right on that joystick. This move is called the spotlight rising orbit. So you're gonna pull left or right on the right joystick while at the same time pulling up on the left joystick. So what this is gonna do is be creating an orbit while also spinning up into the sky. And you could go as high as you want 
to be able to see the landscape below your subject. And you could just keep spinning around while also rising into the sky. It's a cool way to go from the landscape in the distance and then be able to show where your subject at is in relation to that wider landscape that you started at. This move is the descending spotlight orbit. So you're gonna pull left or right on the right joystick while pulling down on the left joystick. So with this move, you're starting with the subject centered and you can only see what's on the ground. But as you pull down on the left joystick and your subject is staying centered using spotlight mode, you're gonna reveal the scene behind the subject. And so as I come down, you could see the pretty landscape in the distance. And you can control how high you want the drone to drop. If you wanna see more of the landscape, you'd wanna create more of an up angle at that subject. Whereas if you wanna see more sky, you wanna get parallel or even lower than your subject. Now this move is called the spotlight drop. So you're gonna start high in the sky with your subject tracked using spotlight mode. Now you're gonna to wanna to have this top down view. And what you're gonna do is pull down on the left joystick. This is gonna send the drone towards the earth. However, with the spotlight mode enabled, the gimbal is gonna auto rotate upwards to reveal the scene behind the subject or the point on the earth that you're tracking. And with these drones, you could fly lower than eye level and end up with a shot where you're looking up at the sky. Now this move is the spotlight rise. So you're gonna have spotlight mode enabled and all you're gonna do is pull up on the left joystick. Now what you wanna do is have your subject in the frame and you wanna have the drone super low to the ground. So you don't really see what's around that subject, you just see a little bit of sky and maybe some of this foreground elements. Now you're gonna pull up on the left joystick. And as you go up into the sky, the gimbal's gonna start tracking down with you. So you're gonna reveal the landscape and ultimately you're gonna end up on top of your subject with this top down view. So you really get to see where the subject is at and what's around it from the sky. Start low and then work your way up so that you end up on that top down view. Now this move is called the spotlight fly away. So you're gonna to wanna to start with the drone facing straight down, pointed at your subject. So you're just looking down on the earth. Now what you're gonna do is pull down on the right joystick and the drone is gonna start flying away from your subject. But because you're in spotlight mode, the gimbal's gonna automatically rotate upwards and you're gonna reveal where this subject is and what is the greater landscape behind. And you're seeing this really cool shot where it's the drone's flying away from that subject. But because the gimbal's rotating up, you're also doing a reveal at the same time. And it's all done with one motion by just pulling down on the right joystick. And the cool thing is when you're using spotlight mode, when you get far enough away, the drone will continue to track a specific point on the earth, even if it loses the specific tracking of that subject that you were tracking at the beginning of the shot. So you can see here on the screen, there's now a location marker instead of the subject of me because the drone's far enough away and it can't pick me out from the rest of this area that I'm standing. However, it's still gonna stay locked on to this point in the earth. So as you continue to move backwards, you're still gonna have that gimbal rotation and you're still gonna have this really big expansive shot that reveals everything in the distance. And it's super easy to do. Now this move is called the spotlight approach. So you wanna start with a super wide shot and you wanna make sure that you're tracking your subject or the point on the earth that you want to fly up to and see more of as you get closer. Now what you're gonna do is push forward on the right joystick. Now as your drone flies towards that subject, the gimbal's gonna start rotating down. So you wanna make sure that the drone's a little bit higher than your subject so that the final ending point of the shot is right on where the subject is. And so you're having this top down shot looking right down at that subject. So you start with the big wide landscape style shot. And then as you come forward, you're really focusing on that subject and coming up and over them and looking straight down on top of them. Now this move is called the spotlight swing away. So essentially what you're doing is an orbit, but you're also moving away from your subject, but not changing the height of the drone. So you're gonna pull left or right on the right joystick while also pulling down with that right joystick. So you're gonna be pushing at one of the angles away from center point. 
And then the drone's going to start moving away in an orbit motion, but also flying further away from that subject. So the drone is essentially swinging, creating a big spiral out and away, revealing the bigger landscape of where that subject is. But you're doing it in this way where you create a spiral. So you not only get to see a 360 of the location, but then you're also flying further away and showing the greater landscape in the distance. Now this is called the spotlight spiral in. So you're gonna start with a wide landscape style shot. You could even be wide enough where you really can't see your subject, but it's just there on the horizon. You wanna make sure that you're close enough that you could grab it using the tracking with the spotlight mode, but far enough that it's a nice big landscape style shot. Now you're gonna pull up and to the right or the left on the right joystick. This is gonna cause the drone to move closer to your subject while also orbiting around them. And for this shot, you wanna be at eye level so that when you come forward and you swing in closer, you're really focusing in on your subject. Now, a cool way to use this is start in front of your subject. And then as you come forward and swing around them, you're revealing what's in front of that subject. So you're basically starting looking one direction over there, and then you end by looking at the complete opposite direction. Now this move is called the spotlight helix up. So what you're gonna be doing is rotating around your subject while also flying away and also ascending up into the sky. So you're creating a huge reveal where you start in close on your subject right here. And then as you spiral up and away, you get a full 360 of this entire landscape, but you do it in this way where the gimbal is following your subject down. So you're seeing your subject in relation to everything around. So pull down and to the right or left on the right joystick while pulling up on the left joystick. Now this move is the helix spiral down. So with a helix move, you're doing a full 360 around your subject, but you're also going down towards the earth and also flying towards that subject. So you're starting out wide. You can see I have this massive wide landscape style shot. Now I'm gonna to fly towards the subject and also orbiting around them by pushing up and to the right or to the left on the right joystick. Now at the same time, I wanna pull down on the left joystick. And because we're using spotlight mode, it's gonna keep your subject track the entire time so you don't have to worry about moving your gimbal up and down yourself. Now this move is called the spotlight flyover. It's a little bit of a tricky move because you're flying over your subject and as you do that, you have to change the direction of your joystick to be able to keep the drone moving in the right way. You're essentially flying in a straight line towards your subject, but then you fly up and over them and then continue backwards. So essentially the drone is pivoting in the sky. So you could see I'm standing here on the ridge. I have the spotlight mode enabled. I'm gonna fly towards myself by pushing up on the right joystick. But as I come closer, I'm gonna start rotating the joystick down around and follow the movement of the drone until it gets to the other side. And then I'm gonna pull down on the right joystick and the drone's gonna fly away. So essentially you're starting by flying forwards, pivot around that person, and you have to do it in a smooth way where it feels like it's one motion. This might take a little bit of practice to get right, but in spotlight mode, you're gonna keep your subject centered the whole time. So you never have to worry about adjusting the gimbal and you always have this clean shot where you're flying in a straight line over your subject. Now this move is called the spotlight flyby. So essentially what you're doing is flying straight towards your subject, but as you get close to them, you're gonna spiral around doing an orbit and then fly backwards away from them. So essentially what you're doing is three different motions, a forward, an orbit, and then a backwards motion but you're doing it at eye level. So you wanna be careful, you don't wanna hit your subject, but in spotlight mode, your drone will stop as it gets closer and closer to that subject. So what you do is you start by pushing forward on the right joystick. And then as you get close to your subject, you're gonna pull the joystick to the left or right, swinging around that subject in an orbit motion. And then as soon as it gets to the other side of your subject, you pull backwards and send that drone off in the other direction. So you get to see everything, but you're doing it at eye level so it really is this dynamic motion oh, that would be super hard to do without using spotlight mode. This move of the spotlight fly in while descending. 
So essentially what you're doing is starting with a wide landscape style shot. You fly toward your subject, but also dropping your altitude at the same time. And when the drone is in the spotlight mode, it's tracking so the gimbal will auto rotate to make sure that your subject is always looking good in the frame. So you're gonna push forward on the right joystick while pulling down on the left joystick. You don't have to worry about the gimbal while you're doing this move. Now this move is the spotlight, raise up and fly away. So essentially you're starting close in on your subject and you're gonna reveal the big landscape in the distance and you're doing it with this motion where you're sending your drone off like an airplane away from the subject. So you're gonna pull down on the right joystick, which starts sending your drone backwards away from your subject. And then you're gonna pull up on the left joystick and the drone's gonna rise up into the sky. And the spotlight mode will keep your drone centered in the, that tracking point the entire time. Now all of my footage was color graded using my set of drone LUTs and I'll include those down below in the description for you to check them out. And next you should check out this video right here, which is my complete drone beginner's guide for filmmaking. So you could learn how to use your drone in a variety of ways to be able to get the best looking footage when you're out flying. I'll see you right there. Also, make sure you go download the drone cards.